Hi there. I'm here with Rosemary with the Gordy Girls. Hi, Rosemary. How are Hi, you doing today? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for coming in my booth. <laughs> well, thanks for having us. So just looking around, can you tell us a bit about the art that we're seeing here and just maybe your process while you produce each one? Okay. Um, well, they start out, I call them the Gordy Girls because the head is a gourd. And, uh, and then I, uh, let's see, I'll get one down so we can look at it better. This is a, a Hawaiian one. Um, and then this is one, did I put over here? I start out like this, I glue the head on a big little body and arms and legs, then I dress them. And, but I make them for all occasions, you know, Christmas and uh, uh, Halloween and everyday girls and garden girls and I, have, I even have brides, so, and, and little fairies and they're just really whimsical but they're fun to create and paint and sell, you know. And, and I also paint. So I'm a painter. I've been painting for 50, 60 years now. Yes. And in 1970, I studied for eight years with a Japanese master and uh, and learned watercolors on silk. But I work on canvas, and I used to do, I uh, had a huge porcelain business. I'm just a real mixed bag, you know, I'll do anything. <laughs> Very cool. So maybe guide us through just a bit of your inspiration with producing these specific works of art. Uh, why gourds and, you know, really why the ornaments? Uh, I, I, when I saw th this particular shape gourd, you know, gourds come in many shapes and sizes depending on when they pick them. And some of them are, you know, this gourd can become huge right here if they let it keep continue to grow. Um, but I saw, to create the dolls, I saw a head with a nose. And that's how it started. Yeah. And, the, and they're lightweight they're, and they're... Once the gourd is dried, it'll last many, oh, hundreds of years, longer than all of us. They have, gourds have been found in Egyptian pyramids, you know, to this day, where they used them back at that time. The American Indians used them a lot for bowls and dippers and, and artwork. Many serious, I'm kind of a, not a very serious gourd artist. <laughs> But I, it's, I see there's a community of them, though. Oh, there is, yeah. I've done shows just for gourd artists. And there's and the uh, work is phenomenal for the serious gourd people. Great. Well, happy holidays to you, Rosemary, you. and good luck with the rest of the festival. Thank you. Thank you for